It's been a while since I've done a vlog. One of the things I've done most recently is buying fabric. So I'm going to show you some of the cool things I got reasonably recently, as in within the last time I blogged, and just talk about a few other things. So the first thing I wanted to mention is that we're nearly at 200 subscribers now, and once we're at 200, it means that I can do my prize draw, and you'll win, and I'll draw a winner out of those 200 subscribers, and they'll be able to choose whether they want to win a layer cake, three charm packs, or a jelly roll, and it's their choice. If you want to take part in that, then just hit subscribe below. In other news, I'm working on some more um, instructional videos. Um, my last one was about nine, making a nine patch block, which is a great beginner block, probably the best beginner block, maybe? I don't know. Um, so check that out if you're interested in learning how to start quilting. In bags, I am currently cutting out this one, which is the Celine bag from the Bag of the Month Club. Um, I wasn't really sure about it at first. I thought, well, it's kind of basic looking and it's kind of slouchy and I prefer the more rigid bags, but I'm going to give it a go, try and get it done before the end of this month. So I've got about a week to put that together. In the meantime, though, I've been working on um, another quilt, so it's kind of competing for time right now. There was a free pattern as well that came out at the same time, which is the Denver backpack. So at some point I'm actually going to make this one too printed out it's ready to go but I'm not sure quite when I'm going to make that yet because it's not part of the um, the can of the competition that they're running where you submit at the end of each month and you can win prizes. The ba last bag of the month club bag was the Stargazer and I can't remember if I showed this or not so I'm going to do it again if I did. Um, I made this one, it's bigger than I was expecting so I've got the hack to make it a bit smaller with the clutch handles. I'm going to make a couple of those. Um, one of my favourite things about this is the metal zipper I've got in the middle there. Uh, as well as obviously the uh, octopus uh, fabric. I had a few issues where I didn't follow the instructions properly around here. This vinyl was so hard to sew through because it's really quite thick, but it's made some really kind of professional feeling handles. And of course I've got the little hardware bag anchors as well, which I really like. I also tried out some glitter vinyl. Um, I've got a little shop now on Etsy called Metal and Vinyl. If you search, um, I think it's just metalvinyl.etsy.com. I've got some bits of bag hardware that you can't really find elsewhere, like I've got some turn locks that are in the shape of birds and things like that. It's a small, small shop. I'm still building up the stock and finding cool stuff to sell in there. And one of the things I wanted to sell was vinyl. So I got a sample from a shop to make this bag, um, but I don't think it's quite going to work out. This is for sale in my other Etsy shop, the one where I sell my bags, uh, just as like a sample. Um, but the, the for, for a start I ordered red, that was my sample and it came through pink. Um, but also this glitter vinyl doesn't have fabric backing on it at all, so it's really thin which I thought would be great, but it actually makes it really quite crinkly and hard to sew around the curves. Um, so I made this um, Sadie expandable bag, this is one of those ones that you really rip it at the bottom, let's make it bigger. Um, maybe it would be fine if it was just like for a um, strap or a hat or a flap or something like that, but yeah it feels kind of very stiff and crinkly and not very fabric like at all. So I'm still looking into places where I can get some better vinyl from that isn't um, fleece backed. Um, and then hopefully I will sell that in my shop too. Talking about vinyl and stocking it in my shop, I'm looking to try out this right now. This is like a high gloss vinyl. It does have a little bit of that sort of fleecy stuff on the back but it's super thin so I'm hoping it'll be fine. So I'm giving that a try. If that's good, then I'm going to order some of that for my shop. Um, that's what my Celine's going to be in, and it's going to be contrasted with this fabric. Because I think they go really well together. Maybe I'll do more on that today, but we're doing some DIY around the house, painting and stuff. So I'm trying to be useful and help my husband out with things. But we'll see how much sewing and stuff like that I can get done. Plus I really hate cutting out interfacing. Quilt news. Um, I'm currently paper piecing a project that I can't show at all. I've been told not to talk about it, so I'm not going to. Um, but it is a lot of paper piecing and I need to get it done before the beginning of June, preferably a bit before that. One thing I have finished recently though, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show it or not, um, but we're a few minutes into this video now, so it means that it's kind of secret, because, you know, it's not first in your face. Um, I wove this um, cushion, and this is triaxle weaving. It's made with two pairs of jeans that I had 
These ones were too short, these ones were wearing out of the crotch and a bit of red scrap from when I made my Hazelwood bag. So it's all denim at the front and the back is, I had to buy a piece of denim for the back and it was stretchy and really annoying to work with, same with the piping. Um, but I'm actually really pleased with how that's worked out, it's really nice and solid. So this is for um, another magazine for later in the year. I also finished making this quilt. I can't really um, show you any more than that just because I've posted it now but that is for I believe the July issue of Popular Patchwork and on the topic of Popular Patchwork currently my um, scallops quilt that you might remember from before that's the cover uh, project right now so that's quite exciting because I haven't had a cover for about two years now a quilt I want to make for personal kind of selfish reasons um, I want to make this for the for my office um, at work just because I just think it looks really cool my job is a graphic designer normally during the day um, and it's this one which was one of the quilt of the month um, from modern um, from the modern quilt guild so it's um, it's quite big so I'm going to make it half the size it's made with half yards of ombre fabric and I have, fat, I have a fat quarter bundle so we're, we're going into my fabric section now by the way um, so I'm going to make it out of these and I don't usually follow other people's patterns so that's quite unusual for me uh, so that's a big stack of fabric but I have an even bigger one right next to me I went to fabric land um, I heard a rumour on my group that they were doing the Tula Pink um, the Tula Pink Tiger print and it was seven dollars a yard and I thought well I'm going to get some of that for a backing they didn't have any left, I was just beaten by someone else in my group but they did have these two that I liked, actually they had quite a few that I liked but I had to be careful so I wanted five yards of each so I had a decent sized backing so now I have two new backings I also bought some vinyl, this vinyl come, came from my sewing room which is where I buy most things from, but I haven't seen this in stock before. So I think they ran out of the one that I've been making everything out of. And this is like the replacement one. But this is kind of, instead of having a, a sort of a suede texture to it, this one's just like flat. And it's going to be interesting to see how that wears. So I like that one as well. I back ordered some fabric. This one is, this one Dinky Doo Fabrics. Um, this moose one, I'm just going to make some kind of fun bag out of it, I think. These two were also half yards that I got for $7 a yard from Fabricland. More stuff from my sewing room. They've got this new collection out and I can't remember what it's called. Basics. I think plaids and stripes are always essential. This one I just thought was fun. Just fat quarters and a half yard. My pre-order finally came. Um, this was from uh, Bedding Dot Fabrics. And I got so I got some of the Tula Pink, Pink All Stars. I pre-ordered it once there was that whole free spirit kind of craziness going on um, because I was worried that it wouldn't be available. Uh, but that's fine. It could be reprinted in the future now that it's been bought out. But I, these prints I just think are awesome for bags. So I've got the squirrels, and I did have some of these original ones at one point, but I sold them on Instagram. I've got the raccoons. There's more squirrels but in purple. I used to have this one in real life as well before it was reprinted. This is the frogs, the Prince Charming frogs in green. And then I bought some owls as well. These ones are a little bit harder to see. But there's definitely an owl on there. They're quite big. I got some more stuff from my sewing room. This was like probably nearly two months ago now. It's been that long. Uh, they've got these half meters at the minute in stock. These are still in stock. Here's some black cats. These two were from the same collection. I think it's one of the Beth Studley ranges. They look very Beth Studley to me. And then there was this, actually, you know, I could look at the salvages, it would tell me, wouldn't it? This is one of the Jennifer Sampoo new shimmers. And I was the first person to, to get some off the bolt because it's such a weird colour, but I really like it. And then I went to Fabric Depot and I got some new vinyls. These ones are textured, so I've never sewn with these. I have no idea what they're going to be like. They also have a very light fleece on the back. Um, some of the stuff I've got from Fabric Depot have been too thick. Some of it has been perfect. It's just kind of look of the draw. This one, however, has just got like a knitted back, so I think this is going to be awesome. It's got kind of like a woven texture to it. And this is more of like a dimple texture. And dark green is my favourite colour right now. I think it's really underestimated. Um, it's just not one of those colours that's traditionally popular all the time like teals and jewel tones and things 
I also bought some cork. Um, this is a meter, and I've never sewn with cork before. They still haven't sewn with cork, even though I've cut some pieces out of it. Um, I've cut them out to make those smaller stargazer to uh, totes, but it's a clutch style. And it's got little bits of gold in there as well. So it's kind of sparkly. So I think that's the last of my things for this update. Um, next time, Max's video, I think is going to be a video about how to paper piece. So if you've never done foundation paper piecing before, that's where you get patterns that look like this and you sew fabric to them. Look out for my next video. So if you subscribe, you should get a notification that it's there.